let's talk about first order kinetics. This is my drug inside of the body, just to show you where the cartoons are coming from. This is the drug outside of the body. So the drug has been eliminated. These are my drug elimination pumps. For drug to be eliminated, it has to be actively moved, facilitated transport. Just like when we brought nutrients into the cell to get the drugs out of the body, there has to be facilitation using pumps. So notice in my cartoon, there are only four elimination pumps. Notice if my drug concentration is one, then my rate of elimination is one. If my drug concentration is two, my rate of elimination is two. If my drug concentration is three, my rate of elimination is three. If my drug concentration is four, my rate of elimination is four. And if I plot that out on a graph, it looks like this. If my concentration of drug in the body is one, then my rate of elimination is one. Drug concentration is four, my rate of elimination is four. And this is called first order kinetics. So with first order kinetics, when higher drug concentration results in higher rate of elimination, we call this first order elimination. This applies to anything like absorption. If more drug results in more absorption, that's considered first order absorption. If more drug results in more permeation into the tissues, then we call that first order permeation. Hence the term first order kinetics. Let's talk about zero order kinetics. So when my drug concentration is four, my rate of elimination is four. When the drug concentration is five, the rate of elimination is still four because we've essentially saturated the elimination pumps. There's more drug in the body than the elimination pumps can eliminate. My drug concentration is six. My rate of elimination is four because again, my elimination pumps are saturated with drug. Notice the drug concentration is seven my rate of elimination still remains at four. And I can add drug and add drug and add drug and add drug. I still have a fixed rate of elimination at four. So if I plot it out, it looks like this. If I have a concentration of four in the body, my rate of elimination is four. If I have a drug concentration of five in the body, I still have a rate of elimination of four. Drug concentration of seven in the body, my rate of elimination is still four. And that's called zero order kinetics. So with zero order kinetics, when drug elimination occurs at a constant rate, we call this zero order elimination. It applies to anything, like absorption. If absorption occurs at a constant rate, then that's zero order absorption. If permeation into the tissue occurs at a constant rate, we call that zero order permeation. When drug absorption, permeation, or elimination depends on the drug concentration, we call this first order kinetics. When drug absorption, permeation, or elimination occurs at a constant rate, we call this zero order kinetics. Why? It comes from linear equations. And they're called linear equations because if you plot them on a chart, they draw a straight line y is equal to the coefficient of x plus a constant c. Here again is first order kinetics, where the rate of elimination depends on the concentration of drug in the body. And that comes from linear equations. So here with my linear equation, if I make the coefficient of x equal to 1, and I make the constant equal to 0, then what do I have? I have y equals x. And that's what I've plotted for you right here. We can say this is x and this is y and y equals x. Keep in mind that that's x to the first power. x is equal to x to the first power. And see that little one right there? That's where first order kinetics comes from. 
Let's talk about zero-order kinetics. And again, the zero-order kinetics comes from linear equations. When you look at that constant, you need to remember that there is this little imaginary x to the zero power. Anything to the zero power is equal to one. Here, I'm gonna take my coefficient of x, and I'll just make that a zero. And when I do that, what happens? I end up with y is equal to some constant. So what is my constant equal to? My constant's equal to four. So when somebody else draws this out for you, they'll say y is equal to four. But really, y is equal to four times x to the zero power. Okay. See the little zero right there? That's where zero order kinetics comes from. So with first and zero order kinetics, when drug absorption, permeation, or elimination depends on drug concentration, we will call this first order kinetics. When drug absorption, permeation, or elimination occurs at a constant rate, we call that zero order kinetics.